first thing that we're going to do is file, save project. I'm going to put a project folder for our robot. And so I'm just going to go robot. I'm going to save mine to my desktop. Um, you can save it to your folder. If you like, click save. All right, the next thing that we're going to do is set up our templates. So in the top, uh, I'm going to click in the top, shift V. And if you don't have it selected, make sure you have selected back. And put the little three dots there. And my uh, templates here, um, they'll be in your full robot folder for you, or in the robot folder, but my templates are going to be right here on my uh, desktop. So in my desktop, and then I'm going to go to robot template. And top, this is the top view that we're going to do. I'm going to open that. And I want to make that transparent at 90%. And we're going to do this with uh, all three ones. So we're going to go to the right menu here now. Click, go to Robot Templates. Go to the side, open. 90%. Click in the front menu, window, and again, Robot Template, and Front. And click Open. 90% back. Now the next thing that we have to do is make sure that these are uh, even. And if you notice, some are a little taller, some of the images are a little bit bigger than others. So to do that, I'm going to real quickly make a cube. I'm going to make that cube, and we're just going to use the uh, scale here of our front window, and I'm going to scale it, my picture, probably about the size uh, of one, two, three, four of those bars down. And I'm going to go ahead and bring this out so it's the size of my hands. Okay. So shift V again, that window, to bring up the viewport, and I'm going to scale my robots so at the top of the head and the feet touch that cube. And then the, the hands themselves also touch that cube. And so now I can use this cube as reference uh, for my other images. So I'm going to click on this uh, menu here. And again, you can see the cube. It's that black line here. Right. And so I'm shift V. And I'm going to scale this now down. So we're going to the top of the head and the bottom of the feet are within that cube. And I don't really need to uh, scale it um, up or or in width or whatever, that, that will be the proportion for the width of my robot. And then again, see in the top menu here, shift V, and we're going to scale so that the fingers are touching the end. Okay, we'll move on to the next clip.